Hey guys, it is Coach Williams. We are here for day one of 10 things you need to know to obtain and maintain your freedom. We have already established that you want to be free. You've already taken inventory and you're like, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the past. I'm tired of the merry-go-round. I'm tired of the loop-de-loops, the ups, the downs. I'm just, I'm over it it's time to be free. And you've also established that area in your life where you want to be free. Remember this, we're only, um, we're focusing on one area for the month of July. So what is that one thing that you need to be free from? And then we talked about what freedom really means. It's liberation from slavery, from the drudgery, from feeling like, you know, I'm shackled to these, this thing that is only so far I can go before that chain yanks me back, right? And so that's where, or, you know, your emotional state where you're happy today and then tomorrow you're immediately sad. Someone says the wrong thing and you're just all over the place. It's time to be free. It's time to declare your independence from anything that is not, um, bringing you joy from anything that is not propelling you forward from anything that God has not ordained in your life. Okay. And so we are going to jump right in today with, you know, we're going to, um, you see my boxing gloves. Yeah. They're right there because I'm teaching you how to fight. So we're going to, we're going to hit, get a doozy today. So the first thing we're going to talk about are rules. Nobody wants to follow the rules, but guess what? We have to follow the rules. What would the world look like if we did not understand that red means stop, yellow means slow down, and then green means go. You know, some of us yellow means speed up, right? <laughs> but it really means slow down or proceed with caution, okay? Um, what if at the stop sign nobody stopped? What would the world be like? It would be chaos. And so that's what rules do. Rules, boundaries, um, they give us peace and freedom. They create, um, they create peace and order where there could be chaos. Um, there are consequences if you don't follow the rules. You know, do you remember as a child getting in trouble because your mom said, sit down? She said, don't go over there. Don't do that. Don't touch that. And when you did it, then you had got put in timeout. Have any of you felt like you've been kind of put in timeout a little bit? Um, where God said, go right. You went left. He said, sit down. You stood up. He said, Shh, don't say nothing. And you were not submissive in that moment. And you said everything you wanted to say. You weren't being led of the Holy Spirit. You weren't being um, Christ-like at all. You just were like, <sighs> like a pressure cooker exploding all over everything. And you got put in time out. There were consequences for you not following the instructions. And so for some of us, we have to go back, go back and reestablish. And that's going to be your homework today is reestablish those rules. What are those things that you need to do? You've got your goal. You know the thing that you're working on. So what are the rules that you need to establish that you need to put back into place to ensure that now that you're free, once the chains are broken, that you're not bound again? That you don't go back to old habits, old behavior. That you're gonna re, you're gonna uh, reestablish those boundaries. Who are those people that you know? What you may not be able to talk to. Who are those people that you know? What is it may be time to bring them close. Um, who who are those people that it was like you know what? Let's just bulldoze the whole thing and start all over again, right? And so you have to reestablish those boundary lines. You have to, you know, reintroduce rules. You know, if you have a teenager, you know, you have to say, hey, you can't be on the phone after a certain time because they'll be up all night on the phone. We were teenagers. You, you know how they, how they roll. Um, you know, we, you, there are times where, you know, you have to establish rules with your finances, where you have to say, you know what, I, I, I can't eat out every weekend. I can't eat out every other day. I have to start cooking and 
budgeting my finances so that I can have financial freedom. So what, what are those rules? What are those? Because the consequences of that is you're going to be sitting right here next year this time and you're going to be still saying, I need, I want financial freedom. But guess what? Even if you're not completely financially free, do you know how much you could save between now and then? Do you, do you know what you could pay off between now and then if you just reestablished the rules? the boundaries. And so do we have to follow all, is there ever a time, I know I hear you coach, is there ever a time where you don't follow the rules? John Wesley says it like this, do good, do no harm, stay in love with God. If someone is requiring you to do something that is not good, causes harm, and goes against the will of God, you do not have to do that, okay? that That's just like telling a child, you know, um, when someone's trying to touch them inappropriately, that that's okay. No, that's not okay. You don't have to follow the rules. You don't have to do what that person is telling you to do. When they're saying, don't tell, tell. You know, if, if you're in an abusive relationship and they're telling you, if you tell anybody, I'll kill you. No, tell. You you need to tell. You need to get out of that situation, okay? So there are times where you you can't follow the rules because it may be harmful to you. It, it may be harmful unto you. So take, take some time today to really look at your life. And where, where, where did you abandon the rules? What rules do you need to reinstate, okay? And then um, Proverbs 1 and 8 says, Hear my son, your father's instructions, and forsake not your mother's teachings. And for some of you, it means you've got to go back to those things you learned as a child. You know, and I know when we left home, we were like, I'm never going to do, I ain't ever going to treat my child like this. No, I'm not going to do it. But guess what? Some some of the things that we were taught growing up, some of the things we learned as a child, it was just good wisdom. It was just good wisdom. I remember going through <laughs> math class thinking, oh my God, I am never going to use this stuff when I get out. When I get out of um, get on, out on my own, I'm going to use a calculator. I'm going to always use a computer and da, da 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 all of that. Do you know where I do most of my work? Pen and paper. Pen and paper. I can type on the computer a little bit, but most of my ideas and my creativity comes when I put pen to paper because that is my, um, that's my happy place. I can focus my eyes and stuff. So what are those things that you need to go back to? What are those rules? What is that wisdom that you learned that you tried to abandon that you were like, oh, I'm never going to use that. That's old fashioned. Some of it were just good old fashioned rules that we need to apply to our life because it kept us in right standing. It kept us in the place that we needed to be, okay? So that's our little chat today about rules. I know we don't like rules, but they are necessary. Rules are necessary. The boundaries are necessary to give everybody their place, to give everything its space so that you don't have to live in a place of chaos that you can live in a place of peace and you can have joy that overflows. But there are going to have to be rules. There are going to have to be times where you're going to have to say no. You're going to have to put you first. And that's where the rules come in. So thank you guys so much for coming in today for day one. I hope you have enjoyed this teaching. Please share the video. Um, let someone know about the YouTube channel. Um, and we will see you again tomorrow. If you need to contact me, it's info at thecassandrawilliams.com. Um, www.thecassandrawilliams.com is the website where you can check out the books. You can check out... Um, 
other products that we may have. And we'll see you tomorrow.